Hi, hello, my dear friends. I hope you had a wonderful week. So almost 4K, guys, 4,000 wonderful people on my channel. You make my dream come true. And I can't say enough how grateful I am. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the moon and back and, and even more. <laughs> and oh my god, I'm so happy. And yes, welcome, welcome back to this little corner of mine where we are building something, talk and hang out. As you already had opportunity to see in this uh, title, today you are watching this big Georgian family house, actually home not a house home um, a house is just a big box for me but this is like real home why because this house is actually real this is something like real to seem serious yeah uh, here on the screen i will leave you a picture real house that was my inspiration for today's video and when i found this picture on pinterest i said this this is it, I'm building this today, well tonight because I'm only building at night, although uh, even I had different idea for building that day, I decided to do this house because it's very beautiful and I was very delighted, I don't know, the shape, it's very simple uh, as you already saw and um, i decided to go with a little bit extra with the landscaping and on the other hand you you already know me i adore that my houses are very uh, realistic you know as i mentioned that this house is very very big uh, we have three bedrooms here maybe it's not much for somebody else but for me it really is and knowing myself how much I love to decorate it's it's really a lot um, uh, but but I succeed I don't know I have never made a, a real house in the sims before and I have a big really big responsibility and uh, here and there I added some details there are not in that picture that you already saw and I have to think about the back part of this house uh, because I did not have opportunity to see uh, in that reference picture what it looks like in the back and I didn't even have a floor plan for this house and I have to figure out uh, also that by myself because we have a big garage and uh, one part in the middle which i guess is kind of like this mudroom you know decided i decided to do that um that you can enter from the both sides uh, you will see that uh, by yourself and i decided to be something in between like mudroom and laundry and from that room you can enter directly into the kitchen so it's very cool i was very thrilled because i have never done anything like this i i really love how this uh, realistic uh i really love how this looks really it's really realistic but best of all it's my final ultimate freedom uh, when it comes to the colors i finally got rid of that fear and stress of using strong colors and combining them you may have expect me to use pastel colors here again but no 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 i use rich colors for the whole lover part and upstairs we have grays and pinks and greens and <laughs> everything oh I, I I love it so so much you're going to see that a little bit later and it really took me a lot of my time honestly for this house more than like three four days uh, because uh, firstly because I'm very very slow in building secondly uh, well I have kids so <laughs> My time to build is very limited and if you didn't know that so far now you know uh, because if you are wondering where those kids from in my intro well those are my kids <laughs> and uh, it's not made up it's not fiction it's real I have two kids and now you know the reason why I fight so hard to succeed so hard to work uh, they are my biggest motivation and maybe 
they have main reason why I work so hard uh, around that ch uh, children's r bedrooms and things like that. Now, okay, okay, let's back to this topic. Um, like I said, we have three bedrooms, parents' room and two for kids. Everyone has their own room, but for some reason I decided uh, that room for the parents should be very large, like very big, and that they should have a, a direct entrance to the bathroom from that uh, bedroom. And children can also use that bedroom. Uh, they only have like separate door. And I've played a lot with this floor plan. It's really uh, it's very different, I have to say. Uh, it's organized differently. That's my point. Well, the living room is a little bit different. The bedroom too. We have uh, lots of hallways. I really made it interesting and different. I'm still struggling with four plants. So I mostly take that part out of these videos and you know I, I don't record that part uh, you know how to put the stairs it's very special like uh, torture to me it's uh, it's a story for one whole video <laughs> and if you don't because if you don't know uh, the steps if you don't put the steps in the right place everything goes wrong like everything well I waste most of my time there and very hesitate a lot and that's why I always do the part that part of the camera so when it comes to the style of this interior well it's something in between old-fashioned and like today present day uh, not so modern but very elegant and, and cozy traditional and cozy that's the words I was thinking of um, very rich colors of the walls with nice natural furniture lots of wooden furniture with really calmer colors so so nice i really love how this turned out especially the color combo this is something i generally pay the most attention to and i skip filming some parts of this house because it's very boring <laughs> especially my struggle to decorate and make it look like right i haven't used all creators here i have to say that and um, as you are used to and of course it will be on my patreon account along with the tray files and on the gallery too uh, just include please include custom content and you will find it there and speaking of the creators i started two projects at the same time we have some new sets that i want to use and another house that i want to build since i started recording for this youtube i have been trying to make it for like a year and a half <laughs> but with the help of beautiful cc from the felix andre it's much easier now when i started i didn't even know about him and now I cannot build without those creators you know who they are of course like Harry, Felix Andre, Peacemaker, Pierre Sim, Charlie Pancakes, Clutter Cat, Linzlu, Brazen Lotus, King Falcon, who else but you know you always have uh, them on, on my Patreon every time I use them and I'm never going to change that Honestly, without them, this game would not be the same. I saw that we will soon get a new world. And I hope that is going to be wonderful. And we really need something new. We need some change. Something that will, you know, that will inspire us and make this game much more interesting. And speaking of interesting, I totally forgot. <laughs> to tell you this I wanted to do this for such a long time if you are wondering uh, which uh, preset I am using for this game uh, it's the prismatic from the whisker something like that you will always have the links uh, in the description of the you know presets that I'm using uh, the version of this uh, reshader is 3.0 08 it's the older version so uh but it's not everything in this uh, preset it's not everything uh, 
looks like this because of that prismatic it's because my editing software it's uh, i'm using filmora wondershare filmora uh, i will always have that information or in my description box and um, i have some wonderful like effects for these uh, videos like from the movies i have like harry potter i have like uh, game of thrones i have like i don't know from every single movie something like that and i have a wonderful one wonderful effect that it's like vintage uh, and i'm using that in this uh, video and not for this part when i'm building but it's for the house tour so it's very beautiful it gives that special vibe it gives that like very interested vintage uh, look so it's very beautiful so uh, now you know what i'm using but like i said everything is in the description down below um, even with my uh, uh, what kind of PC I'm using and things like that with all the links so um, I just wanted to tell you that because I always forgot about that so uh, which kind of the reshader uh, version I'm using and presets and everything and um, we came to the end of this my voiceover I really hope that you will enjoy in this uh, video and uh, in this house of course and if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my future builds and like I said um, this is going to be on the gallery and on my patreon page I will leave you with some nice music after that you are going to see the beautiful house tour because I really give my best for this one believe me so please stay for that and I love you guys I really do I love you all so so much thank you from the bottom of my heart for all of your support for all your love for everything that you've given me for every single comment for Patreon, for everything, really, really, thank you so, so much, um, I love you guys, see you next time, bye-bye.